So today we are going to compare the AMD's A10-5750M with Intel's high-end i7-4700MQ. Both of these processors have about the same clock frequency, 2.5 GHz each. And both of them support turbo clock. They increase their clock frequency based upon the requirement of the processing power. AMD's turbo clock frequency is slightly higher at 3.5 GHz versus Intel's 3.4 GHz. Now both of them are quad core processors. However, the Intel's processor also supports hyper threading that makes a substantial amount of difference as we have seen the same Intel processor with and without hyper threading support makes a difference of 30% uh, or so but also uh, the Intel's processor has slightly better architecture and in overall it leads to better performance for the same clock frequency so let's take a look at the pass mark score here is one of the scores it's called pass pass uh, that shows intel's processor at least twice as fast as the amd processor so if your main concern is the cpu performance there is absolutely nothing there's absolutely no choice but to go with the intel's i7-4700mq there are of all of course couple of other things that you would like to consider and these are intel's uh, uh, amd's advantage over low power and it's better graphics before we do that let's take a look at some of more benchmarks CPU benchmarks of Intel here is we have their comparative scores on a notebook check website so if you take a look at this chart compare some of these ben other benchmark scores for example, the first one is Intel, second one is AMD. The 3D Mark 06 CPU score is 6872 for Intel and 3285 for AMD. A 4934 versus 2579. 19,000 versus 6,400, 1.51 versus 0.85, 6.89 versus 2.31, and that's the Super Pi 1 million score. It's a time taken in seconds. The Intel tail takes only 10.8 seconds, while AMD takes 28.1 seconds. And in the prime number calculation, Intel takes 8.35 seconds, and AMD takes uh, 22.5 seconds. So all this points to the fact that Intel is substantially better than the AMDs. So let's take a look at some other things what could potentially make AMD better and this is roughly the graphics performance slightly exaggerated in term in favor of AMD. It comes with AMD Radeon ST 8650G, G is missing, and Intel shows, Intel has ST Graphics 4600. We'll take a look at their benchmark score, but before we do that, let's take at another factor that works in favor of AMD. It's a 35 watts processor, while 4700MQ is 47 watts. So AMD's processor will run a little bit cooler, it can potentially fit in slightly more thinner laptops, but Intel will require larger laptops, typically 17 inch or so. so let's take a look at the uh, graphics benchmark, again from notebookcheck.net. The AMD's 
Radeon HD 8650G and Intel Graphics HD Graphics 4600. So these are some of the specifications and these specifications do not tell the real picture unless until you uh, look at the, their benchmark score. So the 3D Mark iStorm GPU AMD has 55,600, Intel has close to 50,000. So AMD wins, although this is by a slight margin. Now 3D Mark 2013, 6,400 versus 5,700. 3D Mark 2013, Fire Strike, it's 905 versus 643, AMD winning by 1.5 times. 3D Mark 11, 1400 versus 1000. 1300 versus 931 and so on. In some of them, Intel do lag, for example, 3D Mark Vantage and so on and so forth. We will not go into the details of this. So, basically, AMD is, uh, is better in, in most of those uh, benchmark scores in graphic, but a processor is good in in intel now one of the things that you want to notice is intel makes made substantial progress in graphics from sandy bridge processor it improved substantially in ivy bridge and then it made further progress in haswell and the difference between the graphics performance has reduced However, AMD still is winning the graphics race. So if the gaming is your prime concern and if you are looking for a low cost gaming, AMD would be a better, better choice. Otherwise, you can go for with Intel. Hope that it helps. Thank you for looking at it.